This video animation shows the insertion, placement, and removal of the LTSD. Hold the mouth open and either apply jaw thrust or chin lift. This maneuver lifts the base of the tongue from the posterior pharyngeal wall and allows for maximum pharyngeal space during insertion. Hold the laryngeal tube like a pen. Insert via a midline approach and as the tube passes under the tongue, tilt the tube towards the nose. Advance the tube to the upper teeth mark. Maintain jaw thrust or chin lift until the tube is fully inserted. Inflate the cuffs with the recommended volume. Control the cuff pressure with a manometer. The pressure should not exceed 60 centimeters H2O. Connect the LTSD to a breathing system. A gastric tube can be inserted into the specifically designed gastric axis lumen. This allows suctioning of gastric content and release of gastric pressure while maintaining ventilation. Remove the gastric tube. Deflate the cuffs completely. Then, remove the tube from the patient's mouth by a rotational movement around the base of the tongue. If the LTSD has been inserted too deep, there is no adequate ventilation possible into the trachea. In this case, withdraw the tube with inflated cuffs until correct positioning is verified by easy and free-flowing ventilation. If the LTSD has been inserted too shallow, there is also no adequate ventilation possible. A new insertion is necessary. Deflate the cuffs. Remove the LTSD and insert again to the upper teeth mark. After cuff inflation, and if positioned correctly, adequate ventilation is possible. If the tip of the tube is kinked and does not allow gastric tube insertion, the tip may have deflected laterally and entered the piriform fossa. In this case, remove the tube completely and consider to apply jaw thrust or chin lift to create ideal conditions for a new insertion. After several minutes of ventilation and orotracheal suctioning, deflate the cuffs of the laryngeal tube and start laryngoscopy by means of a video laryngoscope. The glottic structures are visualized. To optimize tube placement, a bougie for example, the malleable S-guide from VPM is passed into the trachea followed by a tracheal tube. Ensure that depth of anesthesia is adequate. Remove the bougie before removing the video laryngoscope. Inflate the cuff of the tracheal tube up to 25 cm H2O. After verification of correct tube placement, the laryngeal tube can be removed.